To be an Apple Distinguished School means that you are recognized not only for being innovative, but also for the type of curriculum that you're providing. Previously, teachers hadn't been integrating too much technology. So we came in and we revamped the entire infrastructure. We put technology into their hands that would be used in the classroom daily with their students. But we did more than just that. We did a lot of support and professional development for our teachers. We created rubrics of accountability of what we wanted them to do. And we observed the way that they were integrating technology. The second semester of my first year, we brought in the device. This device is really going to enhance the learning. It's not gonna make you a better teacher, it's not gonna make them a better student, it's a different format. The traditional teaching hasn't gone away. The device didn't replace the teacher. The teacher is still the key. Instead of being the person that gives all the information, they're disseminating, but now they're facilitating. Saying to the child, you know what? Let's look this up. Let's find Rome on Google Maps. And there's Rome, and you're, oh, look, the Pope is doing a mass. We get to see him now. Once our teacher saw, wait a second, I'm still a teacher? It was embraced. Our end goal was not to become an Apple Distinguished School. Our end goal was to provide the best possible education for our students. It just so happened to be that those two things were in line with each other. And when we achieved one goal, we were also recognized for the other. Three, I have chiefs and supplies. What do I do, Ethan? Instead of being up there talking to the class and them just sitting copying notes down, it makes it more interactive with each other. The students are able to collaborate with each other. I love Nearpod, for example. It makes me in their iPads and they can uh, respond to me. I know right away whether they're understanding something or not. Instead of them working on the piece of paper and I collect it and then I have to check it and then I can't address it until the next day. So it really makes everything automatic. We can do a lot of cool things with science just on the iPad. Like, for example, a few days ago, we worked on a virtual lab, and it was a virtual microscope where we can look at things as if we're looking at a microscope in real life, and then you can see all the little pictures up close, on, just on the iPad. When I start my homework, I just go on Canvas, check what I have to do on my to-do list, get, get it done, and then I submit it to Canvas, and then it'll, I can just take it off of my to-do list, and then I move on to the next thing. One of the wonderful things that we do at St. Mark is pride ourselves in service and discipleship for Christ. And we always recognize our students going above and beyond to help our community. When the pandemic hit and isolation was required, it became difficult to still earn those service hours. All students in Catholic schools are blessed with having faith as the foundation of everything they do. Here at St. Mark, it is so important that as they're growing and developing, it's becoming innate in them. So when there was a need to help their, their classmates, somebody younger, it just came out. They decided amongst themselves to do Zoom sessions with younger students. Uh, sometimes it was for tutoring purposes, sometimes it was simply for socialization, and it created an opportunity to remain close and bonded, and our students really came together. My very first back to school night here at St. Mark, I told the parents, I said, I have a dream that when the children come into school, they are so excited to be here. And when they leave, they're a little sad because they'd rather stay. When they get home, they can't wait to tell you about this amazing day that they have. I have this dream. I don't get getting much help. I am seeing my dream. They are so happy to be here. They are so engaged. And when they leave, oh, by Miss Wardlow, and they're back, hi, Miss Wardlow. You're gonna have a good day, yes! What more can you ask?